Here's a brand new idea for you, simple and fun. Those of you who do a lot in children's ministry, let's say like every Sunday you have a different children's sermon to present to your group, this is something you might add to your repertoire. It's really inexpensive, but I think a, a nice, short, but powerful lesson. You start with a red ball and you explain that in the Old Testament the Bible speaks of though our sins be as scarlet. Uh, then the, that verse goes on to talk about forgiveness, but right now I'd like for us to consider why does the Bible speak of sin being red or scarlet? And I think one reason is it's a hard color to hide. If you're wearing a, a bright red coat and you're walking around, everybody can see you. And so sin is something maybe we can hide from people, but you can't hide it from God. God always knows if we've done something we shouldn't do. Uh, red is a stain, hard to get out. If you put red Kool-Aid and you or have red Kool-Aid and you spill it on a white rug, uh, that's going to make a big stain. And sin is like a stain that we can't get rid of. But God can take that stain away. But most of all, red's the color of blood, and it reminds us that Jesus shed His blood that we might be forgiven. Now, another thing the Bible tells us about Jesus, or a wonderful thing, is that when He came into the world, He was the light of the world. He was the one who came, us, came into the world to show us how to escape our sins and our failures. And when he died on the cross and he shed his blood for us, he was making a payment for sin that we could be forgiven. He was showing us the way to heaven, to salvation, and to spiritual victory. And what that means is if we put our trust in Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior, what we find is he takes our sin away. He forgives us. That thing that we couldn't hide, that spiritual stain that we could not remove by way of what Jesus Christ did on the cross, it's taken away and spiritually we become new. We are forgiven for those things that we did. And that's basically the challenge and the message right there. Short and sweet, but I think you see the idea and I think you could see ways that you might develop it. What I think is interesting about it, or, or one of the things I like, is I got this new LED wand, and several have asked about these. If you can't find them anywhere else, they are available for me personally. Normally I, I have you go to our son's store, LaughlinMagicStore.com, but he doesn't have these. I just found a few of them. I think I've got maybe about 10 of them. They cost around $30. But if you're interested, yeah, email me, and we can try to provide you with one. Otherwise, you might find one somewhere. But it's a wand that lights up. But I've really had fun with it. I found a, a variety of more ways to use it than I ever thought I would. For example, around Christmas time, I talked about Jesus being the light of the world, and I put the wand up against my heart like this, and I said, what we need to do is let the light of the world come into our hearts. And just like that, I did a very simple illustration, but it turned out very well in that context. But anyway, three sponge balls, a light-up wand, simple message on forgiveness. I thought you might be able to use it. That's it. This is Dwayne Laughlin speaking for our Gospel Magic YouTube channel.